called Denise. Shane White called Denise. Hmm. Well, that's supposed to be. Ain't touching that one with a barge pole. Okay, the modifieds getting set for their first race of the night. We have two modified races up front before the sprinters. These guys are getting set to race from the drop of the flag. We've got the green and away they go with car number eight heading out. 44 drops into second spot as they go to the back straightaway. Russell Bradley is second. Eight remains the race leader as they go down the back straightaway. Track holding well. Not too much water put into it today because of the dire predictions from the Weather Bureau, but we have a good racing surface. Eight continues to lead Bradley in 44 as they go through the top turn. Russell Bradley hanging on doggedly. They've got seven laps to run as the back straightaway looms large and they head to turn number three. Well, Bradley putting the pressure on as they come off the fourth turn now, but I think our leader's done a little bolt. He's got six laps to go as Bradley comes up pretty smartly. Not too far back behind them is Young Fortune, who's coming up through the pack as they make their way through the top corner. Steve Fortune, but he made one boo-boo. They've all caught him. He's gone back two spots. Birch came up one spot as well. OK, front straight away. There's Bradley trying to tuck the nose of the car down on the inside. Now, he's looking for a little opening here. He's gone wide. He's off to Auburn, actually and try to bring it back under control. The rest of the mob are going to catch him halfway down the back straight, and I think it could be Birch that's gone through smartly. Eight to race leader as they come off the fourth turn, and he now has four laps to go on the orange machine. Only interest further back in the field is Steve Fortune's fluctuating fortunes. 19's doing a reasonable job hanging in there. Couple of unprogrammed cars, they're performing pretty well as we've got the caution lights on, and that slows the field down. I think that's because of the other blue machine that uh, spun out there on the second turn. And uh, that's the last spot you want to be parked here at Parramatta Raceway and just have some other guy run off a lap later and just uh, T-bone your head on you. So that's the situation. Get whether or not he could sue the weather bureau. <laughs> no, but uh, it's turned out uh, very nice. And when the wind dies, as soon as the sun sets, conditions will be certainly a lot better. Steve Fortune will be keen to go on as they restart this one. Warren Vassell is the driver in car number eight who's uh, been steady as she goes from the front row. Warren Vassell again to head the parade as they restart with five remaining. Look at Fortune, always oh, looking for a shortcut, but walks a couple of others behind him. Warren Vassell regains the lead as they start the second uh, turn. And towards the back straightaway, it's Vassell leading 19 with Steve Fortune next at hand. And now coming into the picture is car number 54, Barry Bundy. Bundy in that green machine running in third. Well, as they come off, uh Vassal looking a little lean. Oh, whoops. You mind a bit of a shunt. Oh, there's four gone. One over a wheel. One was Bundy looking for the white tyre. Manages to skip around there. They bring the caution light on momentarily. Back to the green and Bundy's almost bogged it. I think he's still trying to get his uh, eyes uncrossed. Well, Vassal uh, decides that uh, he'll just ease it up a bit and give them all a chance. Pretty difficult at this time of the afternoon, as you can see out there. Uh, on the hill and in the grandstand. Guy with a lot of experience, car number 19, is back in third place. And we now have four laps to run with Barry Bundy, who's been in the wars in the 54 car, coming back in from Glossodia, driving his Chev 350, coming off the top turn, the sun in their eyes there. Home straight away, now they run to the top turn. On the central coast, Warren Bassel re-establishes his lead. Running to the back straight away, Fortune's challenged by Bundy. Bundy's decided to go off with this now. And uh, Ford just decided to help him by giving him a shot as they go through the top turn. Towards the home straightaway, they now have three laps to go in this opening race on the program. And the order is Central Coast, Warren Vassell in front, running second, Barry Bundy, and in third, Steve Fortune. Well, Bundy, I thought, may have been able to pull back the gap. Uh, I think it's rather unlikely he'll do that. They'll have two laps to go as they come across the strike now. Vassell, your race leader, Bundy in second. Looks like... They've all uh, run into a spot of bother here. Uh, Fortune's car has almost died in the rectum. And halfway down the back straight, Barry Bundy's machine is emitting blue smoke. He looks like he's bound for ultra true. As they come down the front straight, though, Vassal's going to win this. He's got one lap to go. At least he's going to put the rest of them out of their misery. 19 across the line, and then Bradley comes up looking for a little shot here for the uh, second spot. Can't do it. And 66 that's made more moves around the outside. And on our Boxing Day program, first to the chequered flag is car number eight, a Central Coast winner. It's Warren Vassell, first home. Good run for second. 66 off with the boondocks again. Almost a dead heat for second between 19 and 44. The 44 car driven by Russell Bradley, who figured in the early laps, then departed and came back to finish in the top three.